Esports is not so much about local. It's more global sport, a global entertainment. So esports fans, they don't care so much about where a team is based or which the team, which culture it has, which background. It's more about sharing a passion uh, globally. So uh, that is also a reason why I think uh, esports is grown so fast and so big as it did in the last years. Yeah. And uh, apart from that, I also think that it has the potential to be even bigger than traditional sports. So uh, when I grew up, and I'm a gamer since I was five years old, uh, my mother still looked that I don't play too much games. Uh, I didn't play games with my father. My father never played games. Nowadays it's different. So uh, families play games together. Parents knew about games. They grew up with Mario, for example. Some of the, the parents play Counter-Strike and they start to share this passion with the children. And this will only continue. So come, come like see it as a reference. So back in the days you played uh, soccer on the grass with your father. Now you play games on the couch with him. So, and I think this is even so that the barriers are much smaller for esports. So this is why it has the potential to become bigger than traditional sports and also globally just spreading faster. I saw a lot of pitches and also pitching my own project at the moment, so it is pretty easy to pitch esports at the moment. There's so much money coming in, but this is also money from people who don't know much about esports. They want to be part of that market and part of the community, but they don't know actually to really how to analyze uh, if it makes sense. So I would encourage uh, people who want to pitch in esports that they think about viable business models from the very beginning on and not just uh, sit on the hype because games will uh, uh, esports titles uh, sorry esports pitches will uh, consolidate in the next three years and only businesses which have uh, validated business models will survive. So think about how to make money with your startup in esports from day one. So I'm building a game for esports fans which is not an esports title. So we don't have like a shooter game or like a MOBA. It is a management game. So like a soccer management game, we are building a game for esports fans where you can build up your own esports team and rise to the top, compete with other managers and uh, simulate a mobile match. So it is really def defining a new genre of games. It's a very innovative game and we see uh, from the response from pro teams and fans that they are waiting for something like this. So that's a tricky question. I mean, it's still very near the time frame. So one, two years is not big time frame for uh, big companies or um, other industries, but for esports it's pretty tricky. It's very dynamic. I think it will become still bigger. It's still uh, in the gold digging phase. Uh, there will be more money coming in. There will be more companies uh, starting to develop. I'm interested to see where games like Overwatch will go because it's the first game which is planned to be an esports hit. Normally an esports game comes out of the community. So I'm interested to see what happens to Overwatch and if they succeed to make an esports a title long term and uh, also about games like PUBG, can they move into esports? Um, I think I'm interested to see if virtual reality will add something to esports or not. Um, overall, I think it will be even becoming bigger and uh, everyone will in the next years know about esports.